In the Dharma Kingdom of Bhutan, the physical manifestation of thriving spirituality is evident everywhere from the dotted hermitages that spread across the entire landscape to the very devout Buddhist population. Lama Kunzang Dorji Rinpoche is the 43rd generation born among the sacred Nye lineage of Bhutan and studied under some of the greatest masters of our time. One among them is His Holiness Chabje Jajral Rinpoche. As a spiritual master, Lama Rinpoche oversees the spiritual training of monks in his two monasteries in Bhutan and in Kalimpong in India. Lama Rinpoche also established the Jangsa Animal Saving Trust in Bhutan as a non-profit charitable trust. This trust was established to preserve and promote the compassionate tradition and culture of saving animal lives through tzedar. Presently, the trust maintains about 900 cattle, 340 yaks, 110 goats, 160 pigs, and three fish ponds in Bhutan and in West Bengal in India. The trust has received support from Foundation Bridget Bartod, one of the most respected animal welfare organizations in the world, to construct animal shelter at Serbithang in Thimpu. Most recently, the foundation has also funded the construction of an ICU building for the greater well-being of the animals. Si on s'attache au problème animal, on peut s'attacher aussi au problème humain. L'un va avec l'autre. Si vous êtes capable de faire du mal à un animal, vous êtes aussi capable de faire du mal à un être. I started this Shivalam, the piece of uh, path of peace, and giving a solution because in our dharma we believe on uh, educating, not agitating. As part of spreading the message of peace, the team undertook a nationwide tour of 20 districts. Firstly, this initiative, it's a truly collaborative initiative. We have the blessings of His Holiness J.K. Paul. And also, we, we are in collaboration with the Agricultural Ministry. So, the only change that you can bring in the long run is not by imposing on people, but it's by being the change yourself. So that's why we call this Shiva Nanta, and we have put together a lot of educated package. Today, we are called J.K. Paul, Vegetarianism, Choice of Food. We believe everybody here is free to make your choice. But once you have made the choice, you are not free of the consequence of your choice. So we are here to educate you about the consequence of your choices. Because today, if you do not, if you lose the debate today, if you lose the argument today, or if you students are not well educated on this topic, tomorrow when you are leaders, when you grow up and become leaders, you will be the man or woman to ban our army, our butter knives. Then one day, out of lack of understanding and ignorance, you will ban everything that you do not understand deeply. So please do not think this is just about wasting. Because this is a it's like the turning point for Bhutan that there's a big, there's been a very big change and this change is something very, it's very harmful to the Dharma nation. Shiwai Lamtin, the path of peace, is the Jangsa educative campaign on the ruling principles of a Dharma kingdom and its culture rooted deep in Buddhist compassion and wisdom. It also included scientific presentation on nutrition, environment, health, and the conscious choice of diet. It was in the time of Ken Lop Chiyosum, uh, the entire the Buddha's teaching was established in Tibet and King Tisong Dishin was able to establish the Dharma law and the, the King's law. Great Lama of Sakya 
to King Chujil Papa said, From the day the King Chisong Dusen was enthroned till his uh, grandson King Chiral Bachan died, it was 100 years. During that time, the 100 years, that was the most happiest period and the golden era of Tibet. Om Jepo Dangbagan ka Jepo Dangbagi ni thola buka lama ta chil baka suni duga kit bahante upya tak baka ni ni om bumdan ka sambal hundup ka lagang sing chu bumdan kurji ka lagang ka tang sing pa ni sok chu ta ni ma pagira pang ni ni chui den ji je ka onya ge riwa lam mang puri wa onya Bhutan is the only place where we still have the Shutim and Jeltim which means the Dharma law and the noble king's law. This is a Dharmic nation and especially a country where Mahayana and Vajrayana flourish. So we should not be even talking about having slaughter in our dreams, but it is happening. The importance of Dharma Raja is because the good governance of the king is the source of Dharma and the Dharma is the source of happiness. The great fourth king coined the highly profound and philosophical term Jainish by which Bhutan is known to the rest of the world as the land of happiness. The Buddha taught the three compassions. Compassion focused on sentient beings and the compassion focused on understanding interdependence, compassion focused on emptiness. So Buddha has explained in a very profound way. So in Buddhist, we have methods how to use compassion with wisdom, that it becomes very deep, it becomes a very strong compassion that it can go continuously and benefiting beings not getting depressed or not becoming anger because compassion which comes from emotion is sometimes can be very stressful can be sometimes a little bit dangerous in Bhutan being the last Vajrayana kingdom and preserving the, the Buddha Dharma the ocean like wisdom which is vast and deep if that is also not preserved, there is a saying in, in Buddhism that if the ocean catches fire, there is no end at all. She 
Thiruai Lumpton also conveyed its social message through weaving artistic expression of theatre called Ai. Ai is the common and natural Bhutanese expression associated with compassion. Ai is uttered from the lips of most Bhutanese as a second nature. However, when we lose the ability to feel and say the word Ai, that signals the degeneration of compassion and the waning away of our rich wisdom tradition. I exhibits the gradual dissolution of compassion in one's heart as one engages in non-virtuous act of killing. Shiwei Lamthin was a resounding success throughout the kingdom. In all the districts they traveled, the team received overwhelming support and commitment from people of all walks of life who pledged to take forward the message of peace. Many schools who maintained poultries, piggeries, and fisheries as part of their school program came forward and offered the animals to the trust. I was totally uh, ignorant about these things and I have carried out many activities here in the school. Now I, I'm feeling guilty about this. District and local leaders also came forward to not serve meat during official events. Bhutan being a, a Dharmic nation, so we need to tell people what exactly a Dharmic nation means and uh, what is exactly a Dharma, a Dharma king, Dharma Raja. I feel one of the reasons I feel proud to be Bhutanese is the fact that Buddhism permeates the very air that we breathe here. If a Bhutanese is about to step a squasher, an insect, you know, although it's so insignificant, you would act at least feel awkward before you step onto it. So that is Bhutanese values. Bhutan also has very little greenery that it can spare for animals. And yet, to produce one kilo of meat takes 11 kilos of grain and greenery. It has been shown uh, the report of the United Nations panel, International Panel on Climate Change has clearly shown that industrial farming, which is meant for the production of meat, is the second factor of greenhouse gas effect. 15% of global warming is due to industrial livestock. After human habitation and even before transportation, before the cars, the aeroplanes, the ships, it is industrial meat production. And the recent report of IPCC said if we keep on increasing the consumption of meat at the current rate, that factor alone will forbid us to stay under two degrees of warming before the end of the century at the cost of immense suffering throughout the world. As part of the tour, the team stopped at the site of Samra Mega Meat Farm, which is located in Samdok Jongkar in the far east of the country. This location is the part of 840 acres of land approved for the mega meat farm where construction of Nultrum 675 million facility is well underway. If we have to keep the religion aside, it means you have to remove you have to keep your compassion and wisdom aside. Then we, we are useless. Some say for me, dear. 
Tränen 